Okay guys, this is gonna be a small review of uh, my video camera sunglasses that I've been uh, using for uh, at least two, three weeks now and uh, people at the forums ask me if I can uh, tell them whatever I think about them. Let's have a look then. Should be visible and these are the dimensions of um, of the glasses themselves and uh, what it says on them, it's um, yeah, 45 grams in weight and I can say they're quite light and uh, the default resolution of the recording is um, 1080p but it's um, not widescreen so it's 1440 times uh, 1080 and it take them take photo at 15 megapixels besides that the recording speed at that resolution is 30 frames per second and I can say they do the 30 frames per second and uh, operating systems blah 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 so that's nothing interesting about themselves besides glasses that's how the box looks more or less i'm recording this with the lg p920 optimus 3d mobile uh, they come in two different um color ones i went for the black ones obviously but besides that you do have option of uh, camouflage ones I think they might be good for a paintball game, I guess. You know, hiding behind bushes or something like that. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got some. Uh, the battery is 400 uh, milliamps. Let's see on the other side of the box. And uh, nothing interesting here, nothing interesting there. About the same stuff. Right, so let's get to the glasses themselves. So open the box and the box you get the ore. A very firm, good built um, case for them. It does fit my pocket, uh, so you can actually carry them, carry them in a pocket if you want. Protect it, and besides that, you get a small manual. Don't like this. So we see the manual. How's the manual? They yeah, are quite simple device, so uh, it's nothing complicated for anyone, I think. As a whole of it, only on one side. Let's see what we got in the manual itself. User guide. Then you have some details about the um, glasses themselves. I'm gonna put um, a link auction on eBay from the guy I got them off, but it does say that have a 5 megapixel CMOS lens uh, and it's very good, the lens is. Uh, wide angle 400 degree lens, it shots in fish eye sort of a thing, and you have three resolutions and this is the interesting part, because um, they do full HD, um, like um, 980 and whatever and do have the, the the standard hd quality and besides that the thing that made me buy them actually it's um 720p which they do at uh, 50 frames per second because after um, uh, many videos i've made i did, do find that 25 and 30 frames per second on them cheap cameras is not enough because sometimes you get tearing and stuff like that and you don't want it on fast moving objects um, so that's the manual anyway let's get to the glasses themselves because I can bubbling around about nothing to be honest right uh, they come in this box like I said and this is how the glasses look I've got Blue lenses in for obvious reasons. That's the side of them. I'm gonna try to put them on my face in a minute. Um, uh, they are not spy glasses. That's the main difference. These are not spy glasses that nobody will notice that you got camera on or anything like that, because the lens is pointing out. You can see it on the angle here. So if you have them on your face, they actually 
shoot more or less where you are looking or facing and there is a power button here uh, I mean the operating it's a one button operated uh, device so that's the button here uh, you cannot really see it besides that you got um, a small flashing LED here which I'm gonna present let's say a second and then you got the ports themselves so here we have a um, micro no it's a mini USB I think standard it's the Chinese USB standard I'm not really sure it's definitely not the same USB size that we use in Europe and with the uh, smartphones and anything so that's, that brings me to another part there's a USB cable that you get with the glasses the USB cable is um, to be honest it could have been a bit longer I mean they wouldn't fit long but the cable itself I'm holding my mobile obviously when I'm recording so um, it's not that easy with one hand operation and watching what I'm recording and stuff so the cable oh, let's see this is how long the cable is I'd say about half a meter long so when I'm uh, having them plugged in in my PC they lie next to it on the ground or on the top of it it's long enough it could have been longer I mean you can use the extension cable for USB that doesn't bother me but like I said the USB size is different uh, should be visible so don't lose it don't break it uh, maybe someone knows where you can get another one just in case never mind so beside that you get uh, one of them glasses wipe things which is always a bonus you can wipe them you know give them a wipe especially the camera before you're gonna obviously record and with the glasses uh, when you order them you have option of the second uh, pair of lenses which is here coming they come like this uh, I went for these are the original um, polarized lenses black ones uh, very decent for a black lens Gonna put them like this so that's the standard lens it comes with them that's the, the blue lens I'm using it's not dark so when I'm running with them or um, raving or driving and they are not affecting the visual so um, only option if I wouldn't been uh, ordering blue ones I would have went with yellow ones obviously better for driving at the night time and stuff but I'm not gonna be doing that many recording at night so that's what if it goes for, um, uh, for accessories we got this we got them two pairs of lenses packed like this all right and you got a charger as well the charger I we can focus them um, on it not really sure but it is a typical 5 volts um, for 500 milliampers um, charger and that's the case itself inside so we got back here it keeps the stuff inside so we can pack it back in bang in there no problems lenses whatever lenses here mm -hmm. all right if it goes for operation of the glasses they use a micro SD card which goes in here I don't know you can see oh you can see it it just clicks in press it in and just clicks in like in normal devices um, there you got a small button here it's a factory reset in case they hang or um, something like that just press the button and um, you will restore the factory settings if it goes for operating the glasses themselves once you insert um, the micro SD card and connect them to the PC uh, you need to create a file on them uh, which is called time txt you know we're using notepad or whatever and put in the current date in a format that is 
I'm looking at the wrong way. Um, the format of the file is you put big x dot, and then you put the date in, and then you have a space bar, and you put the time in, and they will record the, the time on the video you're making. I mean the show time. You can disable showing the video time and date if you want. I'm keeping them on. And if it goes for resolution setting, which is obviously very easy to change, you just uh, create a file which is called size.txt and in that file you create you have three options basically. You got the option of 10 a uh, 92 <coughs> pardon me. Uh, 1920 times time ATP with 25 frames per second and you input number 2 in that TXT file. Then you got the standard resolution which is uh, 1440 times uh, 1080p at frames per second and that's number 0 if I remember good and then you got the interesting resolution which is 720 P, the typical uh, 1280 times 720p and that's uh, you get it by setting number one in the text file now if it goes for the recording self uh, you press the button the LED, LED LED starts there we go and you press the button and they recording at the minute as we speak and um, when you have them on like this and they are flashing and they are recording if they are charged I forgot to long it for hold it hold it held it for long anyway if you I just press it yeah um, um they are flashing like this and if you le look in your uh, top left corner with your eye, you can actually see the flashing LED, which is not uh, disturbing you at all. So, um, you know that they are recording. The recording time uh, for many tests I did with running, um, driving, uh, raving and whatever is about 60 minutes on the 50 frames per second 720p setting and that puts the output file of about 15 gigabytes so I will I would highly recommend uh, buying and 60 gig card with the glasses themselves because you're gonna if you buy a 32 gig um, card you're gonna run out of uh, battery before um, uh, before space on them and well, to charge them, I, I charge them from a PC, let's face it. So I charge them while I'm copying the files over. The charging time is about uh, two hours, I think, more or less, give or take. I just leave them overnight. Mm, that's, you know, charges them, basically. Um, so you see they are recording here and blah, blah, blah. So if you want to stop the recording, just press the button here. And that's it. If you want to take the picture with it, I'm gonna try to have a snap. You just click it then once, like that. And they do take a picture. Gonna try to take a picture of a, in one hand, whatever. Not that easy. And try and take a picture of a of a pic picture by picture. How do you like doing pictures? So you take a picture, why are you doing a picture? So they flash once or flash two and flash twice and they make a picture. I'm gonna try to demonstrate on it. Just like that. Bing. And they took a picture. All right, so that's the uh, I think it goes for gas. It's very easy, simple usage interface. You just plug it in the PC and it automatically detects the as a multiple storage device I did plug them into my TV TV using USB cable here and you can watch the video straight from the glasses on your telly on your I don't know anything that got the USB port and can actually play some videos and um, now how do they look on on the face gonna try to put them on me 
right? I don't know how that's gonna work because I gonna, won't see what I'm recording and such. I'm gonna try to take picture of the picture. Right. So I'll record myself. Why wearing them glasses? They do, you know, look quite decent. As you can see, I think you should be see, able to see the the red dot on my face when I'm having them on because I'm gonna try them. Oh, it's too much light. Yeah, recording with a mobile, you know, guys. Uh, this is like do the review mobile, you know, show us what it is. Now, anyways, those glasses did cost me uh, 55 pounds with shipment with no SD card. With trackable shipment that is and um, to be honest I don't think you can get anything better for that sort of money maybe assemble quality wasn't very good because I mean inside the plastics here I did to get two came apart to be honest and uh, work on the plastics here a bit of there but it's 55 pounds so you know compared to other devices uh, very cheap and that should cover it I think what else? Well, like I said, I'm gonna put obviously on my YouTube channel there are videos I've made using them glasses already. Uh, running uphill, running down here, driving a car on the rave and at the work or whatever. I mean, if you want to record something for no reason, you definitely want something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, and if they're operating, you can like do on standby mode at the minute. Hold the button for a second or two. Uh, and they are off. That took not quite long video, about 15 minutes. So I would definitely recommend those um, to anyone that are, is looking for some camera, action camera for, like said, using some sports, um, don't know, uh, fishing, shooting. It'd be all right for paintball. I think they should protect your f eyes. I mean, you're still gonna get uh, a <laughs> ball in your forehead or something, but protect your eyes and um, driving a car like around the track maybe you know like um, maybe a kit car you know all sorts of when you want to record something and have your hands free that's the main thing that was one of the reasons I've bought those glasses uh, that they uh, they are very light I mean and they do don't bother you at all when you're recording and you're not uh, you know, holding anything or having a massive bracket attached to you. Uh, they're just comfy glasses. They are not made from plastic, by the way. They do. Twist. These are um, AB, ABS, is it? That plastic sort is the upgraded version of, you know, not typical cheap plastic. So they do have that um, nice texture, neck, nice texture to them. I've had them on longest at once, I think, about over the rave. So that was. About five hours constantly on on the head, no problems with that. So very comfy. Um, well, can't think of anything else you would want to know about those cheap ass Chinese camera glasses, which I could can definitely recommend for the price themselves. Uh, right. What else? Oh, pack it in. Oh yeah, and they are not waterproof. I do, did find out about that. <laughs> Don't run with those when it's raining because they get water inside. And they st did stop working on me for one day. And uh, I've put them in a bag with the rice overnight on a radiator. They were good as new the next day, so nothing, nothing big with it. Just factory reset and recharge and they back to normal. So that's a bonus, I think. They do come with two year warranty and I think one month like instant replacement one. So if you send them back to the guy that's selling them, there he will send you another pair or he'll give you a refund if you don't like them for some reason. But I cannot see anybody buying anything better than those for uh, that sort of money in 55 pounds with shipment from China trackable. Just cannot be that on the, on the price. Anybody cannot beat them. And they were 
50 frames per second is actually fresh 50 frames per second video it's not tearing at all uh, only problem is that YouTube does not support uploading uh, 50 frames per second video so you get them uh, I use myself power director um, to edit my videos and all the videos I edit I do put through the filters post-processing um, it's uh, what I use the video and can content filter and um, not stabilizer but some denoising filter as well so as you're gonna see it's a videos uh, if it goes for sound recording oh I forgot to mention about the sound they do record sound it's very it's not crap the sound is alright but it's very quiet I don't know if it's the problem with the pair I got maybe they've got something blocked inside I don't know it's very quiet but if you re-edit the audio it, they're gonna do some for sound very very good so I should you should see that on the video I'm posting with the PC thing I recorded the other day right that should cover it but 20 minute video about nothing basically about glasses ha huh. running glasses these running glasses